Just look how small this thing is, seriously. It's ridiculous. Welcome to Simulator Adventures and welcome to City Car Driving. Now today I'm having a look at another mod. Uh, the link will be in the description for the BMW i Setter. I mean that is a cool looking car. It's from the 50s, from the 60s kind of era. It's called the, often called the bubble car. Um, and my fuel level is low, so obviously this car doesn't use that much fuel. But it's got, it has actually got four wheels. If you take a look at the back. You can see there's one there and there's one there. Um, to the front. Um, and basically this was quite popular back in the day because fuel was becoming quite expensive for people. I assume there's a, it's called a fuel crisis moments in Europe and America in the um, 60s and 70s. Oh, thank you for letting me go. Um, but really, today, you wouldn't get away with a car like this. They're incredibly dangerous, as you can see. Whoa, what the... It's like drifting around, feel that. It's really strange. Um, but basically what they are, it's a little car, a little shell of a car. Usually has something like a moped engine in them, or a motorbike engine in them. Um, and the ones with three wheels could usually be driven on a motorbike license. So if you had a motorbike license, you could drive this um, as a little car. It's got four gears, obviously incredibly underpowered. But it does drive, so you can't complain any. Whoa! And he's, in, and he's very sliding. So. Where do we fill up? Do have to get closer, I guess. Okay. There we go. And there we go. Filling up with all that juicy fuel. A bit more. There we go. Perfect. And off we go. So the interior of this is quite nicely modelled. It's a little bit not very detailed down below, but I'm guessing this car doesn't have that much in the way of stuff on the interior. Uh, we're just going to see you can cut around the traffic lights. It's so small! Whoa! Um, we've got lots of different views. We've got this view, our passenger view. This like cargo area view. It's quite cool. This kind of really far forward view. That one. We'll look at there's nothing coming. There you go. And you know what? It's not the slowest car in the world. I think we might actually get 100 kilometers per hour out of this, which is what? 60 miles per hour, which is quite good. Let's, let's have a go. How fast can we go in the BMW i setup? And yes, this was my BMW, amazingly. 100, 105. Even 10. 111 is the top speed. And it, it sort of corners okay. But I don't really drive very sensibly, do I? So it's slidey, though. It is slidey. But a fun kind of slidey. So look, can we fit down the centre of these? Whoa! Not if we crash into that gulp. Right here you go. So look. Oh, come on. Yes! The benefits of a BMW i setter being able to get right down the traffic. Wow. Uh, so we've got like a bench seat here. So it's just, just basic cheap motoring from the 1960s. If you ever saw that Top Gear episode of the PLP 50, it's a bit like a bigger version of that. Whoa! But they're of the same kind of idea. It's technically a car, but also not. Because it, does, it has a motorbike engine. And does that thing work there? It does. It's a speedo. And it only stops at like 55 kilometers per hour. So I'm guessing we're not meant to go be going this fast. Um, whoa, the camera. The camera's not so great. Whoa! Bounced off, nice. Now can we do some motorway driving? Is there any way we can get on these motorways? Maybe I should do some sensible driving. Let's go. Imagine we're a little family. Would have to be a very little family, wouldn't it? It's two seats, that's all it is. I thought they would have had like a back seat, I don't know. Oh. 
Okay, let's go around about. The tiny little mirrors. And look at the stuff down there. What is that? On. Heater. It's a heater. Down there. Wow. Pretty cool. I'm going to get left. Or am I? No, I'm going to go... Uh, yeah, we're going to go left. So we're in the southern district. Doing donuts in a BMW I set up. Oh... Oh, power slide out? Yes. It's not really a power slide, but sort of. So there you go. A van. Probably carry like 20 people. It's going to only carry two. But, just look how small this thing is. Seriously. It's ridiculous. And at least this time, the stock game engine sounds kind of fit this car. Usually they put them on like a Ferrari and you're like, hmm, I'm not sure a Ferrari would sound quite like that. But, it's got a little bit of a sunroof, hasn't it? Because it's cheaper to put this cloth bit in than actually cover it with metal. So that those sunroofs aren't like an optional extra. They're necessary to keep the price low. Which I think, think is very really interesting. We've got a little luggage rack, and look at that exhaust. That is a really cool exhaust, and then... Yeah, I mean... It, the, the modelling could be better, but it's not bad, is it? And look at the detail on that bit of fabric there. That's really cool. And we've got... Do the, do the wiper buttons work? No, we have got a wiper. Ah. Horn's pretty bad. The lights, what are they like? Oh, look at those lights. Makes it look like a little animal. Alright, here we go. Oh, stalled. It's just too much too much power. Go, no, go! Oh, my handbrake's on. No! Ignore that. Right, get yeah, right. Oh, 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 oh. Driving through the big city. Obviously, everything feels big in this little car. Ooh, look at that. A made to order. Kitchens, bedrooms. I mean, would you? I mean, if you went out shopping, you wouldn't be able to get much back in this. Oh, you already went around this roundabout. I'm just going around in circles. C turn. Oh dear. Up here. Up here. Go. Yeah, it has got quite a big cargo area, but I guess the bit underneath that is the engine. Yeah, let's drive from the passenger view. It's quite cool. And you can see the uh, wheel arches down in the car. Which again is sort of cool. There's a bus station there. Or a bus depot, whatever you want to call it. One thing that they could really do with this game is um, adding lots of different, uh, whoa, adding lots of different vehicles that you see around the game, like the buses and the trucks, into the standard game. Oh, we just lost it. Ooh, it's like a train track down there. Can we get down there? That is the ultimate question of the day. Can we get onto the train tracks? Well, I hope so. It's like Omsi. If you played Omsi and he's found a train track, you could always drive onto it. Ooh. Oh! Invisible wall. But, it, oh! I can see my legs. I see how the door on this, I'm pretty sure, opens forwards. So this bit opens out kind of like a um, an arm. And that's really cool. You can see the hinge down the right. Indicators? Can we see those? Oh, sorry. There are no indicators, which I find a bit weird. Oops, sorry again. My driving today is awful. Don't hit it again, come on. Okay, right. We didn't need to go on the motorway to get top speed, obviously, but... It sounds cool from outside, and it's just got an Italian number plate. Let's pull over here. Whoa! Oh, I didn't hit it. 
and we're home. Ooh, that was a thrilling drive in the BMW Isetta. And I mean that seriously. Goodness me, I'm exhausted. I mean, the steering is incredibly hard with the force feedback. That's one thing I need to say. But anyway, that's the BMW i setter. If you want to have a go, uh, make sure you've got City Girl Driving on Steam, and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. So I'll see you next time on Simulator Adventures for another mod review. Uh, well, that's not really a review, is it? A quick look, quick glance of mods in this um, open-world driving game. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more content from my channel or check out these videos to see more simulation gaming on Simulator Adventures.